Austin Cortex, your meshes. My whole mind. Oh, fuck, it's a card game. To play cards on enemies, drag them over, enemy avatar. Alright, don't know why they hit the line break there. To play cards on yourself, drag them over this panel. Panel will close if a viable card is dragged over it, okay? Repair. I only need to repair. I guess I'll laser this guy. Let's go. Alright. There's no more tutorial, like it's not gonna say, hey, this guy's about to attack you, as we do. Alright, he's got health, he's got shield, he's got more shield and does four damage or some shit. Sync remove stink lines. Repair, add, shield, generate stuff. Well like my action points with these three things. Remove. Right, and generating whatever this is. Oh, here we go. Heat capacity. Oh, that's that's bad. Overheating, win it, blah, 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 blah. You know, I, I could become overheated. Each time it generates heat, it takes 20% damage to random body part directly related to stuff. Stability, stability, recovery. How much stagger mech can absorb before being knocked down? Okay, um, heat sink, I guess. Is this guy gonna attack me at any point? Right, I removed all its health. Yeah, it also still the armor on, so that's nice. Loot boxes. Choose one out, oh, okay. Laser range, self cooling laser. I don't remember how much the regular one does. Light armor, pretty good one. Still one AP. Okay. He's got four turns in the bow. Oh shit. Drag items from inventory to your mech. Items can only be placed on specific body parts. Cool. Thanks. Inventory. Uh, what is it? Common? I don't get what this is for, but whatever. It's going ahead. Yes. Refit? If it was started, you must either confirm it by spending or cancel it using the revo button. Uh, okay, how much money do I have? I have enough. Cool. Refit? Just say fit! Refit? The fuck? Yeah, okay. Like, is this guy ever like gonna attack me? Generate 4. I can't get extra health. Force field fail later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Weapon damage is first applied to the force field. Okay, this guy doesn't have a force field. Each body part has an individual value. Armor is a second layer of defense against enemy attacks. Restored after battle and protects mech. Body part has an individual health value. Okay. I 25, 25. For a heat sink. Oh, it did some sort of healing there. Does this mean that they're at four heat? Basically, they've done jack shit. What's that mean? They have what, like 20 extra shield? Great five. Yeah, I basically have to flush those. You're not overheating, you're overheating. Oh right, 75% is when it starts kicking in. Emergency shutdown is at 100. 3 HP. Real return. Dispersion, how much heat is dispersed each turn. Remove heat, yeah, heat sink. Let's fucking go. Must play to the wrong person. Wow, I actually did something? Incredible. Right, so yeah, this uh, this it's got 100 health and 160 shield, and I'm gonna deal 25 bullet damage. So 
So that was like split, it was like 10 health and 25 or 15 shield, yeah. Sink, yeah, thanks. Okay. Right, so ninety one four five. And there's all twenty five on the body. Again all twenty five on the body. RL here. What what's RL? Right leg. Uh I've got one AP. Yeah, I don't need health right now. What the fuck was that on screen? Something disabled? Oh, my right leg fucked? Can I live with that? Like, what's the importance of my right leg? As stupid as that says, sounds saying it out loud. Yeah, generate shields. This is still the second fight, so what does it mean? He's gonna do 310? Left L, left leg, right? Okay. One, two, three. Ten, ten, ten. Okay. I can't target anything specifically, it just seems to be random what it's hitting. I just simply drag and drop on it. The... It's generating heat for no real reason. That was a shotgun attack, was it? Okay, so you just get good RNG and hit his health, and then like just fucking hit like, him. Take it all. You go, okay, fine. Generate a shitload of heat. Current heat, yeah, heat generation for five. Oh, this is target all though, right? They're different. Oh, fuck me, there's a third one that was covered up by the box from the middle one that I was hovering over. Shite. Listen, buddy. On ground and free. Well, it's mildly interesting. It's happening. Here we go. Hur Hurricane? I think she let him live. Yeah, you can't see the name, but this one's called, uh... Hurricane. Where's I go? Down here? Yeah, then I'm not covering anything. Off from the end turn thing, which is totally unimportant. Guess you should start by targeting all. Oh, my health is still low from uh, the previous fight. Did anything happen? That looked like a big whiff. My heat sink's gone up to 59. I am, yeah. Oh, well, I disabled something. Move 15 heat, we do that at the end. Heal 25, generate 5. Yes, it's Chopping away at its health very nicely, which is good. I go home. Shield damage though, which is shite. Destroy, good, die please. Shields up, generate four. Okay, oh, I'm out of AP. 
Don't right, have shot. Right, shields are super low. Generate four. Yeah, try not to overheat. I need more like uh, heat sink things. Yeah, thanks. It had two bullet icons above each thing. Health? Does it help down two? That's so shit. Right, it disables something. Right leg 25. Oh, right leg disabled. Got it. Right leg health. Let's take the hit. Let's take the hit. Oh, I think I'm low on AP anyway. Card is disabled. Mixed body part health drops to zero. All items and cards are tested. Oh shit! So my head being wiped down means I can't play this anymore. Does that mean I can't do heat sink anymore? Right, and overheating is affecting my health. Oh, that didn't do any fucking uh, health damage. That sucked. If it did health damage, it would have wiped them out. It goes down three. Three. Wow. No, and this is talk all. It'll do some dumb shit like two damage. Pulse is super low. I can't do my lasers! I am fucked. I am fucked. That sucks. What, you just locked out of some of your fucking cards? I guess you should split your cards between, like, your two hands, and, well, then again, some of the cards can only go into the head, so, like, how do you protect your head over anything else? Current contract, Polly Ugly Mug Springhead. I disabled some shit, I disabled an arm, which is good, okay. Disabled the body, cool. health. Um, armor replenishes after a battle. Yeah, the health does not. Right, cool. It's just attack, 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 basically. Yeah, like if you're here, you're not even aware there's something on the right, but, but uh, there is preload decision. Single use pre-ignited. Restore 2 AP, generate 15 heat. Generate 15 heat for single use. Remove 45 health. Self add health. Oh, that's good. You can generate heat in your opponent to uh, basically overpower them. This is basically like the vampire thing. Like, how can it be bad? The torso never goes, uh, as far as I've seen. Repair health, repair body arm. Laser, laser. And the leg, could you? Nothing goes on the leg. Oh, these could be moved down to the leg, I guess. That way, if an arm's taken out, I'm not losing all of the cards at once. Yeah, that seems balanced. In terms of if I get something blown up, I'm not completely shafted. Heat sink, round one, don't need it. 
What if I'm full health? Like, what happened to... Do, do I still remove Fleet Fire from them? Yes, we do. Okay, and we shut down one of the legs already, which is nice. Okay, I, I wish it stayed up longer. So I could get a readout of what's happened to you. Like, my right left arm. What is this? The right arm? And take one look at it. Body armor, RA hit, what's RA? Right arm. Left arm, full body armor again. Okay, cool. Eat, 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 eat. Oh shit. That'll land exactly on 100%. The stability thing hasn't come in at all so far. Oh, my right arm? Well, it's just a laser. I got like fucking 20 of them. Still patiently like, oh my god, the heat thing. Yeah, if you don't get heat sink, then like you're just fucking waiting around for this shit to chill out. You're fucked. Alright, lovely. So they're gonna lose four heat every turn. We can't tell how heated they are. We are dealing 18 damage. Wish repairing didn't heat you up so much, but whatever. Yeah, and doing anything more is gonna hurt me, so. Heat sink, please? Uh, maybe it'll be time to fight back. Heat sink, thank fucking Christ. There go my two arms. I, I've got no offensive measures now, do I? Gee, I'm glad I got heat sink now. How can I win? I, I've got no offensive measures. Oh, look, I'll heal myself. I'll bring my fucking arms back from the dead. That's... That seems a little dumb. Is it a way for them to get you s to stop you doing the typical RPG thing of focusing your fire on one guy until they're eliminated? To get you to spread and like, okay, I've taken out one arm on enemy one, time to focus on the other guy? Or to focus on the big guy and take out the big guy's attacks. Yeah, if it's a longer game, I just have like sh tons of heat sinks. Because, like, you have to wait for the one heat sink to come up before you can, like, do anything. He's gonna what? He's gonna heal and warm himself up. So he's gonna go up to what? 105? Yeah, okay. Are right, you knocked out the head? That's not terribly important. Yeah, and if you can't focus on an arm, it's just like RNG whether you destroy the thing that you want to, yeah? That's a bit of an arm hurt. Are you taking out the torso? What does he have in the torso? I don't know. Does he go between fights? That took forever. Yeah, give it to me. Yeah, take the fucking thing. Why can't you click on take all and just both go away at the same time? Epic. Restore 1 HP. Remove 15. Excellent. I like that. It's basically another heat sink. I'll take it. You have to click on it. Another heat sink, you say? Remove 50 from an opponent. Generate 18 heat on self, though. 
That's very strong though as a finisher. Alright, 18. Find the heat sink we just got. Sure. Might work out. They can't spread your offense off across anything except for the arms. Balanced, whatever. All right, we start with zero heat. Got that. All right, we eliminated the head. He healed. The guy on the left is gonna attack, so attack him. Damage the leg. The arm's about to give out. Got one thing. Shut one of his arms down. We're gonna take this guy now. He's gonna come through with a strong attack. But eight, yeah, kill. Still one HP. All right, arms honorable. Chill out. And twenty health. Uh, health is not gonna help me. Shut the arms down, unfortunately. Sink, let's go. The torso down, whatever that's gonna do. But something hit. T hit. Oh, is it showing you what pipe hit? It says like left arm hit, but then it says like arm or on left leg minus 25, showing you that the left arm's been hit. So, like saying left arm hit is just like additional. Okay, he's bringing back some armor. He sink. Let's go. Okay, he is not going to attack me, so that's fine, I guess. We could potentially kill him, but like, unlikely. Best to do that. Did you get the top so good? He sink. Single use. Uh, no, attack, attack, attack. Okay, I don't know, it, it just, it seems like it's very RNG where like it hits the arm or it hits the health and which body part hits on the opponent. Brute force pre-recognition to discard card, draw six, generate heat. Draw four cards, generate heat. Uh, single use, restore two HP, add health, generate heat. This is piercing laser? Does that make it more likely to go through shields? Like these don't necessarily seem any different from the, the other lasers. Like deals 25 bullet, deals 25 bullet generate 7 heat. Like, is that not just worse? Medium damage. 
would generate a lot of heat. We get heat dispersion up here. I haven't seen this Stanga thing move one time. Like, don't these cards just seem worse? Yeah, what, what does this mean? Chance of hitting? Permic full health? Okay, you can do some stuff. Like, piercing laser just seems like a shit version of laser. Do you, it generates more heat, so like, why would you? Unless it, it's all health damage. Alright, both guys are gonna shoot me. The guy on the right side is gonna deal more damage. Alright, that was an armor hit. Health hit. And we take out the right arm, which is great. I think it's worth it. Armor damage and a lot of shit there. Health damage? Right, it's all health damage. That'd be important to know. Yeah, his leg, lovely stuff. Still attack me, okay. They're both gonna attack me. Yeah, the stalker deals more damage overall, I noticed. All 15 health damage. 25 health damage. We could kill. Nice. Well, this is gonna be a relatively straightforward battle now. Missing laser. Taking out its head, which means something. I guess uh, less repairs and what have you. Ooh, that'd be great, but that's more like a climactic thing to use. Laser, 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 laser. They're all the same. Yeah, a bit of everything there. It's left leg. Like, our, our fucking mech starts at nothing in the leg, so hitting the leg is just like, oh, nothing happened. Yeah, sure. Okay, one of my arms is weakened. There's not much to say here, yeah. Like, it's just fucking do the thing or don't do the thing. If I can get him under the threshold, that'd be great. Let's so let's take him to 70. No, we, we wouldn't be able to do it in time. Still low. Piercing? Okay, can we go into some new enemies now? Because like we've only seen two enemies so so far. 
piercing laser, gamma laser, generates heat in the enemy. Yeah, if you, if you can't see the enemy's heat threshold, then it's a bit shit, isn't it? Remove armor from the opponent and add it to self, generate some heat. So basically armor thieving. Point score, does that have any meaning? Boss battle, okay. Ooh, watch out, it's the boss. Oh, it's just got incredibly buffed health. Uh, and I can't do anything off from. Well, I guess I can do this. You see green, you don't think it's gonna be offensive. I'm going down. Using laser twice. Well, one of my arms is shut down already. That's fucking brilliant. Armor, your fucking arm. Oh my god, you can't prioritize what you don't want to lose. I want to take out my fucking arm next. Feedback laser. Alright, generate health. I'd like to regenerate fucking- No, it did on my leg again! Oh, My arm is weak, dude! Repair the armor on your fucking arm! Because my arm... Almost. Piercing laser. And a drain. Yeah, I'll take that shit. I'm at max armor. Just remove the heat, whatever. It's still, it's like, it didn't do anything. Like, you could give me back armor on my fucking arm. Without this, I'm toast. I just need a piercing laser. Thank you. No, it's feedback laser. Right. It's only worrying because you, you can't... It's just RNG if they hit your arms or not. And once they take out both arms, you're just completely fucked. You can't stick, like, guns in your legs. Generate a lot of heat. Draw two cards. Deal 100. That's a lot. That's a lot of damage. Pre-ignited laser. What does pre-ignited mean? Why is it solved? That's it. Stats. Strange. Yeah, you know what could use armor? My arms. Yeah, is this the problem that I'm not putting these up in my arms? In which case, yeah, I can totally understand why the, the leg is ignored. Got two heat sinks. Yeah, we may as well check this one. 55, 45. Yeah, that's a bit of a problem there, isn't it? <laughs> it's a bit of a problem. We need the smaller ones, and we can't put the uh, two by one in here because of the shape of it. So my armor's gonna go up drastically. Cool. I didn't heal. All right, they're gonna start by healing and armoring up, so I may as well start by beating the shit out of them. Forty armor damage. 70 health down, took out his leg, but that's worth probably nothing. 
Attack for the E. Alma, okay. They're both going to attack. They'll be doing sixty damage. Oh, fuck. My, my arm is going back up, but that's good. Bank late, uh... They're taking out a leg and a torso, and one of his arms is weak. Pissing laser, 25 on the health. Yeah, he's attacking again, so it's fine. Let's do this preemptively. Shields. Nice to get left. Right, taking out both his legs in his torso. He's got all his important parts left though. This is fine. My head's a little weak, but I think I only have like one thing left in it. I think you should just do this. Oh, you got an extra action point. When did that happen? Did it take another card? Right, I'm going to attack it. And overheat myself and see if it's just like, will, will we miss a turn but then just come back immediately? Overheat? Yeah. Oh, you lose a whole bunch of AP. Got it. Okay. That's a shame because you have two pissing lasers there. Gonna attack now. Oh, just, it's, right, no, that doesn't do that at all. Uh-oh. Steal some shields. Generate some shields. Again. Thank you. Right, so this is basically the same as the boss, where it's just the buffed enemy, wasn't it? This, this, the, right, there's been three enemies so far. Heat sink, big ting, single user move 45, resort to it. That's great. Efficient nano. Oh, dude, we need this. Head is the most armored piece, it seems. Hmm, yeah, we could bring this across, but then we'd only have one space and then it'd be like barely armored. In the most armored place. What, two heat sinks? Right, small heat sinks actually cost you. Right, that sucks.
That's probably the best we got, whatever. Next. I didn't heal the fucking mech again! Just be like, hey, do you want to heal your mech before you head out with one leg missing? Fucking stupid game. Ugh. What does pre-ignited mean, dude? Heavy laser. Heavy laser takes something with it. It took the pre-ignite laser with it. Or does pre-ignite just fire off regardless? Is that what that means? Feedback laser, add shield. Well, it's not gonna do anything. It will hurt them, though. You've taken out one of uh, Templar's arms, though, so that's good. Some laser. Okay, they're basically down to half health already. My arms look a little weak. Uh, shield would be nice. Generate health, sure. Alright, my leg's unarmored. Big thanks. Move, restore 2 HP, remove 25. One of those. Rain health? Yeah, now I can just basically do everything. It's literally just got his one arm left. I, I like how we won't take out the CPU's second arm, but they'll take out the money. Destroyed finally, thanks. Let's find this armor up. Oh, well, it's just a leg. Did I even have anything in it? Feedback laser. Everything is just a shielded attack. Fuck. Something went there. It took another card with it. Piercing laser. Take out its arm. Oh, it looks like its head. Yeah, we just took out the head entirely without taking out the armor. That's cool. Remove 15. Yeah, like, it's, it's gonna go back to the deck anyway, isn't it? No? Did it just fucking spin off to the left? It's the stuff like flicks over to the right hand side. Heal itself, right? Pre ignited laser. This thing's just gonna do its thing, right? I'm gonna do a piercing laser and pre ignite. It's just gonna go. Or not. Precognition laser. Oh, look, a card where I could use additional APP. Yeah, I don't get it. Do I want shields back? Yes, I want shields back. I want my fucking arms disappearing. Uh, shields on arm, please. Thank you. What do you know? We took out both of his legs before he took out both of his arms. Again, the CP's arm being protected. Get the arm. Oh, it doesn't matter. He's fucking. Completed contracts, right? How long does this thing take? Experimental laser, single use, 90. Generates 40. Brings armor along with it. Extra health. Yeah, we can replace the heat sinks on the other part, the torso. Another heat sink. Yeah, 
Gamma laser seems completely chip. Like, if you can't see how much heat you're generating in them, then why care? Plus 95, it says health 50 50. Yeah, just stack everything before you even attempt to push it in the, the legs. Oh, my legs have 15 health and 25 armor. Drug. Wait a fucking second. I can do something here. I can move this over here. Then we got space for like one of your double armor things. Just, you know, in the future, we got space for one of these double armor things. Just to take it down though, it'd be so well protected. It is its HP is buffed to fuck though, so it's good. Boss battle. Another singular dude. He's mildly different, he's got a club. Gonna do 40 damage. Reignited piercing, whatever. Maybe because I was putting cards in him so quickly, it looks like piercing laser didn't even do anything. Save a mom and a leg already, that's good. Dealing with the majority of the heat and stuff. Sink, remove, EP, whatever. Right, one arm removed, one arm looking a little weak. Three laser. Nice. The heads are removed, which means this healing's gonna be shit. Single use removed. Stay. Still haven't seen anything like this uh, stability mechanic. Add 20 health, don't need it. Strip ship. Ooh, do we have one that adds AP? No, we do not. Nothing piercing. Feedback laser. The, the the UI could be a little bigger. It seems unnecessarily tiny. Like I said, there's some lines that like you mentioned. Like, why do you say left leg hit when you then show the damage you're doing to the left leg? Doing damage to the left leg shows that you. Mostly blocked by the shield, okay. Yeah, my, my heat sink things are uh, paying fucking dividends now. I can just do what the fuck I want. This guy. Does he. He, he might not have offensive stuff in his remaining arm because he's not attacking me anymore. It's great. Oh, another heal. Ah, I should have used this earlier. Oh, he's gonna add armor, is he? That's a shame. Is that contract complete? Boom, boom. Yeah, what are the C things? Credits. Not yet implemented. We barely got any space as it is. The light one, sure. It's an epic one. Ray. 
Okay, that's highly armored now. This needs more HP, does it? I still haven't leveled up yet. I also noticed I was thinking about unless it's a workshop. Oh shit, there's three of them. Two of them want to help me. Heavy laser. Tinkle use pre-ignited. Fucked up his leg and its head, alright. Uh, restore 1 AP. Remove some heat. Yeah. Let's just get shot in the face now. All right, one AP. Wait, why is this guy got less health? Okay, yeah, let's work on him then. Both gonna attack, this guy deals less damage. Pissing on his left. Big health removal if I felt like it. Oh, and it's destroyed his arm in the process. Okay, so you can just drain health and destroy arms like that. Nice. My stuff's still armored, apart from the legs, but, you know, it's a lake, whatever. Yeah, the AP's unimportant there. Okay, I feel like going from, like, incredibly underpowered to... Pretty overpowered with the amount of heatsink. Like, I barely have to care about the mechanic anymore. Plus, now they're throwing shitloads of heatsink cards at me. Generate shields? Sure. Sure. It's free. Cool, fuck his arm up. Didn't get exactly what he wanted there. Good for brains. Knows he played Mick Chip not too long ago. Oh yeah, you're the world record holder, aren't you? I think I may have commented on your video. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, how are you? <laughs> yeah, distinctive name. Distinctive name. Right, uh, this guy's still attacking me. Can we destroy his other arm? This computer's gonna protect his other arm. Yeah, it is. Shields. Whatever. Heavy laser. Wait, can you fuck up his arm? Okay, you can fuck up his torso, that's nice. Single use. I'm pretty low, it's fine. Remove shields. We really should work on taking one of them out. First of one, yeah, that's right. I, I like, I like Metroidvania games, and I do run a few of them. But Mech Chip, that prison boss, that prison boss on the casual playthrough, I was just like, oh my fucking god! I see that my webcam is over the chat. That's great. Yeah, there you go. It works. Heavy laser, just eliminate him, please. Precognition, go. Thanks. Yeah, I have to do this, get AP back, then I can attack. Do whatever this does. Shield removal. Most of all, it is a fine game. I just... There, there's other games I played recently where... You can, you can switch person, and there's different abilities in the person. But that's... it's not fun because, like, you have to switch back to, like, using generic abilities like double jumping or wall jumping. 
What other game was it that I played? Fuck. But yeah, it works in games like Lost Viking, where you got three different people who are distinctly in different positions on the map, and like they go into their own rooms where their own abilities are required. But when you're just one person, and you constantly have to go into a menu to use a double jump or a, a weapon, it seems dumb. It's shortly after you get the sparkly thing. It's like a guy who's floating in the middle of the screen and he's got these big shoulder pads and he shoots rockets up in the air and then they come down and he's got like fists and they smash on the ground and shit like that and he farts out at their enemies. Basically, a whole bunch of boss traits that people hate. It, it doesn't help that his hitbox is like in the middle of the screen and not on the ground, so you have to keep constantly jumping to hit him, or use the, the cannon's shot to bounce off the wall. He's not so bad? Okay. I guess it's just something you get used to. I need, yeah, just shield up, I guess. This is a very strange card game, because like, it keeps giving you like very generic, similar things, but like you have to earn them. It's more like customizing your mech to get a decent card loadout. And yeah, unfortunately you don't deal stupid amounts of damage, so now the fights are dragging out a bit. Laser, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn. Oh no, my two useless legs don't have anything in them and they're now dead. I was surprised when I saw the music box do as much damage as it did to that uh, Zelda 2 boss. The, the one with the shield. You know, you just get behind the shield and just make them up. Single use? Uh, I have no AP. I can't use AP. Okay. Politely die? Thank you. Think of the upgrades does so well. Well, with it. I got, I got like a lot of upgrades really early on because I was collecting all the coins. Uh, are you talking about like the splintering shot where it like bursts into... No, it's fine. Gives me something to talk about. Like, it's just, it went from pretty... Like, make me feel like a massive underdog to make me feel like I'm stupidly overpowered. Because originally, like at the very beginning, it's your heat sinks really low. So like after like 10 attacks, you have to ease off until you get the heat sink card, of which you've got only one. But now you've got a shitload of heat sinks, so now I've got a lot of cards that reduce my heating and my max heat level is stupidly high now. Lasers. What the fuck is this? Restore AP, single use, pre ignite, restore AP, generate. This seems shit. Max AP 4 plus AP 1, right? Okay. What are the benefits? Yeah, pick it, pick it. This could go in the leg. Like, I, I honestly don't care. The leg's not very well defended. Oh, it can't go in the leg. It's got to go in the head. Shit. Well, I can move everything down here. It'd be the same, wouldn't it? Essentially, yeah. Then you can go in the head. I'd pay for it. Ten health. Well, my head's going to be blown off very quickly, but these don't seem incredibly useful anyway. Do you run any other games besides Mech Chip? I may have like glanced at the other games, but it's out of the memory at this point. But yeah, I spent like 15 minutes uh, very early on. There's like a row of tiles with like A, B, C, D, E, G. And I honestly thought that what I had to do was get them all to flash at the same time. So it's when you're within a certain range, they start flashing. So I was like moving to the right and then coming back and seeing if they flashed at the same time, but no, moving out, moving back. Like, I spent like 15 minutes trying to figure out what the fuck that was. Because what Metroidvania has a musical note puzzle in it. It's pretty strange. Right, um, the guy in the middle is the weakest, seemingly. He's also about to shoot me. Mission decision. That's dumb. Remove health. Yeah, okay, that'll do. Squidlet? I never heard of that.
Oh yeah, I could have used the health removal there. Let's focus on taking away his health. Yeah, this I was just like browsing through the demos on Steam and this is there. I was like, oh, it's another card thing. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Why not? Really regretting not using the health thing because all those just hit armor. My tiny head's about to die. Wanna add armor? Yeah, sure. There's only been like three types of enemies so far. There was one version of this that had a hammer instead of sword. What the fuck? I can't attack anything. Let's get my heat levels down. Yippee. Nice draw. There goes my leg, my head with the extra AP things is gone. Oh well. Move health. Ah, oh, no, it's 2 HP, you fucker. The love box cry, the mech. You get immediately off the boss you didn't like. Yeah, 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 I know, the, the music box thing. I did complete the game. You saw, you played mech chip not too long ago. How, yeah, how do you find this? Because I thought it would be because I left a comment on your YouTube video about the, uh, the world record. And maybe you clicked on my channel, so an upload on my channel of the playthrough. But yeah, I, I, I finished the game. The last boss was surprisingly easy after the one I mentioned that I really hated and didn't like. That one dragged on and on. Oh yeah, health removal, kill. Thank you. Right, I need to armor up shit. Sink. Do I bother? Sure, why not? These cards come back. Alright, uh, 270 on the right hand side. Randomly search mech chip on Twitch was probably see a result. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it was just something I came across in maybe I was going through Steam Discovery Queue or Interactive Recommender and found it that way. It was really cheap at the time. It was like a pound or two pound because the sale was on. I was just like, you know, even if it's mixed, it still might be good. I can't remember what the reviews are like on Steam. But I think they're like mostly positive or something like that. I generally just play a, a whole bunch of shit. I do speedrun some things, but my pen has gone wonky again. Uh, so it affects one of the games I run, so I'll just play like a, everything else until I feel like buying a new controller again. Uh, so to do health removal. Let's do a AP. Yeah, attack. I think one of its arms is gone. I, I don't know. The, 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 you can customize your mech so that you can you can get a whole bunch of things, but I feel overpowered. But the fights also feel really drawn out. If you know what I mean. Like how many times have we like been like laser, 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 and it's done like twenty percent. I'm not massively into these card games. I played a couple of them. I played the usual ones like Slay the Spire. Uh, there's a free one. Something, something Moon of the Night. The other one recently, The Wars of Insanity. That was okay. Got a lot of the uh, feedback on that. People who generally play these games seem to think it's a bit shit. Oh, they broke one arm? Okay. Okay, well these are the two things from the head. And... Fuck. Okay, well let's some of the lasers fucked up. It's not all of them. If the other arm goes, then you're completely and utterly fucked, because all of your offense is in both your arms. What they hit just seems to be RNG. What you hit just seems to be RNG. Like, laser says deals 25 damage, right? The bullet... but The damage could be spread between the health and the armor. 
Gaming YouTube is going to want to use it most of the time, just logged into, and wow, there's a bunch of comments. Okay. Yeah, you'd be surprised. It depends, though. Generally, just like gameplay of games gets no views, but if you do a sp speed run, someone eventually looks up out of curiosity, I guess. It's weird the things that catch on. Like, sometimes you'll just do upload gameplay of a random game and it'll end up with like 200 views. Like, what the fuck? Like, no one comments, so you don't know why. I played a, a demo of a game from Sage last year called Starboy Adventures. Brazil showed up for that one. Everyone chat with their Portuguese and their B R R R R R R R R. Okay, I need to just protect this arm and then chip away at it with whatever I'm blessed with. Yeah, your laser. Maybe. What? I didn't even know I was dying! <laughs> 